Hello passengers, Trainboy10 here, and welcome to my Q&A video. I wasn't sure what to do for my 5th year anniversary on YouTube, and I made a, a poll asking if you would want a Q&A video. I said yes, so you, all of you submitted questions to me, thank you to everyone who did. So I have my questions lined up. And I'll just get started. By the time this video should release, tomorrow, October 10th, 2023, will be my birthday. Well, the day that this video should release, October 9th, 2023, will be my fifth year anniversary, so... Just thought I'd say that real quick before we begin. Alright, let's get started. What's your opinion on my content? From what I saw, I saw your video on how you made smoke come out of Edward's funnel with like a smoke machine or something. And I thought that was a that was pretty cool. That was uh pretty cool. So I really don't have much more to say about your content because well, I simply just haven't seen more than just that one video that I mentioned. Next question. What's your favorite part of your channel and my channel? I'd say that my favorite part of my channel is that, well, is just having total creative freedom and having, and I can just do whatever I want. I, like I said before, I have cre total creative freedom. I can make whatever content I want. It's just, making videos is fun to do and I really love doing these kinds of and I love making these videos okay I'm finding it hard to just how do I describe it it's it's fun I just really enjoy making videos for you all because without my pa without my subscribers and viewers just watching my videos well, I mean, I know this is kind of cliche and pretty much every content creator sa says this. You all are the reason why I keep making these videos. I know I'm not making as much as I used to, though there is a particular reason for that. And I just enjoy doing these in my free time. If I just have some crazy idea, I just, you know, I'll just do it. I don't know what more to say. I I can't really describe it. It's it's fun. It's just a different it's just something different from everything else in my life. I guess a part of the fun of of making videos is that you can like I said before, you can just make whatever you want. You can have many fun-filled ideas. You can you can still make like the same content or you can like spice it up a little bit with something different. You can make totally unique videos. You can just allow your creativity to to shine and have tons of people see it and have them praise and appreciate your work. It's satisfying. And with school, which is stressful, it's hard, and while I enjoy the walks between classes, it's just I'm going to the same locations again. Which, honestly, now that I'm thinking about this, uh, recording this, this voiceover, it kind of reminds me of Thomas in, in his book, Thomas the Tank Engine, where all he would do is just shunt trains and never really see the world around him. He was just confined to the yard. Even though today he's confined to his branch line mostly, but I think you all get what I mean. It could just get boring doing the same thing over and over. And with videos, well, you can just make whatever content you want. And my favorite part of your channel, uh, Tyler, I just... I personally, had pr I personally prefer your content from your old channel, back in like 2019. It just felt like 
you actually had a lot of creativity in your work, and I found it very entertaining because I was a kid. I, I was just a kid. I, your content, uh, I, yeah, some of the videos that you did make were inspired in somewhat remix of Rama Fool's videos, but yeah, I just your the videos on your old channel were entertaining and I love them. You put a lot more effort into your videos than I did back then. I'm not saying I hate your work now, it's just... It just doesn't have the same feeling. Or maybe it's just my taste changing as I get older, because that kind of thing happens. The older you get, uh, your views on the world begin to change. Sometimes it's for the better, sometimes it's not. Okay, this isn't some life lesson video, it's a Q&A. What are your top five favorite Thomas and Friends movies? Well, <laughs> I honestly, I can't even remember the last time I watched a Thomas movie. I know I have Tale of the Brave and Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure on DVD. I own those DVDs. But my top five, my top five, fra my top five Thomas movies, sort of hard to decide on what my favorite is. Uh, my school library, which, well, it's more of a, I think it's a city library or a county library that's just on my school campus, I, I don't know. They actually had a few Thomas DVDs. They had Thomas and the Magic Railroad, The Adventure Begins, Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure, and I think a Season 20 DVD there too. Oh yeah, speaking of Magic Railroad, I do have the DVD for it still, though I don't know if it still works. It I don't know. My top five favorites, it's it's hard to decide as I'm not really sure what my top five favorite Thomas movies are. Though, I can tell you what my favorite is. My favorite Thomas and Friends movie is Blue Mountain Mystery. Don't consider this as like a top five, but I guess I'll just name a few movies that I really like. Tale of the Brave was a really good one. Hero of the Rails is definitely one is is great. The Great Discovery is really good. Overall, uh, Blue Mountain Mystery is my favorite, in my opinion, anyway. Do you have Trackmaster Customs? Well, other than that really bad uh, Black James that I did five years ago, I don't have any Trackmaster Customs. Oh yeah, well I am currently working on some custom models, which I will explain in a future video. So, uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Are you going to make a series? Well, here's the thing, I've kind of already made one. Except, uh, it's really bad and I pretty much unlisted most of the episodes. And that original series was Thomas the Trackmaster Stories, originally titled Thomas the Trackmaster Show Stories, where stories wasn't even spelled correctly. It had a Y-S at the end, and not an I-E-S. I made six episodes of the first season in 2019. I guess the first episode I made in 2018 which was my first video and is the only episode of the, the it's the only episode of the series that I still have up publicly. Uh and then in 2020 I continued the series and renamed it Thomas the Trackmaster Stories with the proper IES at the end of stories. I was going to say something. Uh, oh, yeah. The series that I had originally made Okay, so we'll probably make a separate video after this, after this, explaining more about, about the history of my series. But the point to take away is that I decided to rebrand my series and start over from scratch. And the series I retitled to Thomas the Trackmaster Engine. I am currently in the writing stages for the first season which will contain 12 episodes, like the original series. It will be a lot better, 
higher quality and more connected to the roots of the original Railway series books. But yeah, the main thing to take away is I will be making a series, but it's more of just like a revamp of something I've done in the past. But even then, I'm wanting to improve so much from uh, my original series many years back. I want to make this new series something completely different from that. It'll look cleaner around the edges all around, hopefully. Again, I'll probably just make a separate video after this explaining more details on the series, so just keep your eyes open for that. And make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss the train for that video. It'll probably be the next video anyway, since I don't really have any other video ideas at the moment. Other than the one project that I'm doing, which is pretty much related to uh, my revamp series. It's not part of the first season, it's sort of its own thing. The teaser is called Soon, and if you haven't watched it yet, well then, you probably should. I will leave a link to the video in the description, and a video card in the top right corner of the video, so go check that out. And then, once you do, you can come right back to this video, or you can just go watch it after you finish watching this video. How do you do the faces? So, I use an app called IBIS Paint X, and so what I do is I take a picture of a character's face that I want to edit, so if I want to edit Henry's face, then I'll take a picture of Henry, and then I'll go into IBIS Paint and edit his face to whatever the scene demands him, whatever the scene demands. Like if Henry's supposed to be happy or sad or angry, well then I'll draw his face with those facial expressions. And if he's talking, then his mouth will be open, but if he isn't talking, then his mouth will be closed. It's pretty simple, I guess it's... It's kind of an easy thing to do, so if you want a start to if you want a start in making your own series or your own videos and you want to and a, you want to edit the face and you want to edit the faces, I guess this would be a a good first start for you. Maybe someday I might go I might switch to something better, but for the time being, this will do just fine. What's your opinion on Pink Panther and Pals? I'm not sure if the title Pink Panther and Pals is supposed to be just one show or it's supposed to be like Pink Panther and Pals. Like, I, I don't know. But the only memory that I have of watching Pink Panther, I never really watched Pink Panther as a kid. I was at my grandma's house where, where she watches old shows that aired in like I think the 1950s and 60s and 70s or at least that's kind of what they look like to me and I remember Pink Panther playing on the TV and I really that's that's all I can actually remember from that I've never really watched Pink Panther at all so I can't really give my opinion really other than I just I haven't watched it so yeah I just can't give an opinion because I haven't watched it that's that's all I can say which do you like better, the Super Mario Bros. movie or the Sonic movie? Alright, I'm also going to be honest here. I, I, I've never played, I've never really played the Mario or Sonic games growing up. I'm not a big video game fanatic or I'm not a video game fan. I've never really been into gaming, so yeah, this might come as a shock to you. So I might as well go over my history with these, with these. Uh, I, I remember when I was little, I, I was at a party or something. I can't exactly remember where I was. Though I remember that I was at someone's house and a couple of people were playing Mario Kart, I think. And then that's all I can really remember from that. I don't recall ever really seeing any Sonic games anybody play any Sonic games or something. I've seen a few like Mario and Sonic animations, but that's really it. Though, which movie do I like better? 
Well, I've only watched the Super Mario Bro Ugh. the Super Mario Bros movie once. And if I'm being honest, I I might as well just say it. I wasn't even planning on watching the Mario movie when it released in April. The only reason I watched it was so that way I could give my I could answer this question properly. <laughs> I mean, it was a, I guess it was a fine movie. It wasn't anything special or anything. It was, it was fine. It was all right, I guess. Though, I personally like the, the Sonic movie better. I just find it more entertaining, and it feels more like an adventure is, it feels like an adventurous movie, if that makes sense. Though, yeah, ironically, I like the Sonic movie better, though I feel like, though I have more, f uh, familiarity, not sure if that's a word, with Mario better, or at least I've seen more Mario than Sonic right before seeing both movies. What's your opinion on Channel 7? Like I said for the Pink Panther and Pals question, I... I've I can't really give my opinion on it since I haven't really watched Channel 7. Not sure if that's a new station or what. Though yeah, I I just can't answer this question since I don't really have an opinion. All right, time for the last question. What is your favorite soda? Easy. Sprite. I do, there are many other sodas that I like, uh, like if there's no Sprite available, I'll have a Coke, though I would much rather, or a Pepsi, and I do really like root beer, though Sprite is my definitive favorite soda, nothing can top it, though you should definitely drink more water than soda. Just saying. Alright, so, uh, that's it. <laughs> uh, this video has gone on a little longer than I expected it to, clocking in over 20 minutes. Uh, so, <laughs> it'll, so yeah, um, I, uh, well, I guess there's one more question to ask. Will I do more Q&A videos in the future? The answer is yes, I will. Perhaps if there's some special event or there's just something that has all of you flooding in questions to me that you really want answered, well then, yeah, that's... I'll probably do another Q&A then. I'm not sure when I'll do another one, though. I will do... Though I do plan on doing more in the future. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. If you had wanted to ask me a question, but you didn't get a chance to, well, like I said before, I'll do more Q&A videos in the future, though. Yeah, you could just leave a comment down below, and I'll just type you a response. All I gotta say now is... To make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss the train for the next video, like the video if you enjoyed, and comment down below on video ideas that you want me to do in the future. That's pretty much all I got to say. I I'll make I'll probably make a video another video soon about uh my plans for Thomas the Trackmaster engine. Yeah, that's really all that's <laughs> That's it. Just just do pretty much everything that I listed earlier. Subscribe, click the notification bell, like and comment. I'm Trainboy10 and have a great day everyone.